<laughs> G'day beer lovers. I made a rubbish tip. Now this isn't a normal city rubbish tip or a town rubbish tip. This is a farmer's rubbish tip. Okay, so there's no rules here. If you're a farmer in this particular area, which I'm not going to say where this area is, okay, but this little area has been set aside for the farmers here and you just dump your shit here, okay? And there's probably decades and decades of different types of rubbish here and I thought it would be interesting just to go through this little farmer's tip here and just to see what's here. Okay, follow me. Making super videos for all his work. His channel is great. He's a good mate with Bella Fells on the head. Get a beer lovers. Yeah, Joe Roll, mate, again here. VB Ed. Watch out for the snakes here, buddy. There are snakes? Snakes around here. Right. Yeah. Do you often see snakes here? Well, this is a, a place for snakes. Oh, okay. When I was a kid, growing up in a little country town, I used to love going to the tip. Yeah, used to fossick around, used to bring little treasures home. But man, I, I'm in a part of my life now where I'm chucking shit out. I'm not collecting shit anymore. I know fucking Paul's bloody collecting shit and taking it home, but I can't be fucking bothered. As you can see, the fucking flies are bad around here. There's a really bad stink around here, and I've just discovered what it is. That's it there. Decomposing dead sheep. That is white goods here. There's old car bodies, drums, tyres. Yeah. Corrugated iron. What's that? Is that any useful? Yes. What's that? Any use? Enyo. Enyo. Okay. So as you can see. So as you, as you can see, my mate's a bit of a fossicker. He wants to take home some little treasures. Hey Paul. Yeah. That car behind me, that, is that a Premier? I reckon that's a Holden Premier. 1968. Uh, look. No, this is a 67. Oh, how can you tell? And uh, it's just with the badging on it. The badging and the tail lights. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, good uh, guess, mate. You can see inside. There's a little ring, wing mirror on the side, mirror. Oh yeah, it's still there. Yep. Door handles, everything the chrome lasts forever yeah. on these cars. So people that do up old cars, they'll be looking around for second hand handles, wouldn't they? So not just the handles, the mechanisms, sometimes the bumpers, the tail light, even if the lens is gone, it doesn't matter if that's yeah. this thing on the yeah. panel here is good. Yeah. Hey Paul, that green car there. Yep. What? You, how's your knowledge? What? 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 Sixty-three Falcon. X Hang on, you reckon it's a sixty-three Falcon? It's K. How do you fucking know all this? Oh. An old comma. Where? Here, just here, upside down, just the front. Comma, what was it, a truck or a yeah, car? A comma van, like a truck, truck van, yeah. So a lot of these, this area here, a lot of the cars are probably buried, aren't they? Oh, in this big mound of dirt here. They used to bury them, that's right. As you come through, you'll see some more. Oh, you won't be able to tell what mate that was. Uh, this one you can by the tail lines. And this would have been an old uh, HK. HK Holden. Yep. And here it is, a four door one. It's 
like you're an archaeologist. The chrome stays strong. I lost it all there and the chrome still... So this used to be a wagon. You can see the tail lights of an old HK. Oh yeah, yeah. But the chrome is still strong. The bump. Yeah, so there's a lot of cars here from a lot of different decades. Oi! What do you... Oh, what do you got? Cray pots and crab nets. You gonna take them? Yep. There's another one here. Good rope, mate. Good rope. That is good rope. Good find. Yep, that's coming home with me. Look at there. A colony of bees have taken over this. We've got an old school bus down there. Oh yeah, um, what have you got here? A surf ski. An old surf ski. Is it any good? Why would it have been thrown out? Still got the paddles on it. This will be a good little item to do up actually and float. Uh, I can't see a problem with that. Sit on there and paddle away. Uh, it's a cray pot, is it? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Why has it been thrown out? Uh, probably got a couple of holes in it, but they can be fixed. Probably worth uh, 50 bucks. Are you, are you into cray fishing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Safety first at the tip. You're going to take it home? Please. You're going to keep it? Nah. Do you want it? Nah. Hey, good brain. What's that? It's a cordless drill. Yeah, Zodiac. Hey look, there's an air compressor here. Yeah, look at that. He's got wheels, frame and That could probably be repaired. I think a car novice like me can work this one out. It's a Chrysler Sigma. Do you still see Chrysler Sigmas on the road? Hey, Elaine. Still got a good tail light on the back. Yeah, all right. I don't know. I from this angle, I don't know that orange one. What's that one? Could be a Galant. Mitsubishi Galant? Yes. Do you reckon all these cars are dumped here because they're involved in car accidents? Yeah. yeah I reckon so. Hey, look at that. There's a fucking boat here. There's a fucking boat. There's a boat. And there's a sail. Must be a surf cat that someone's dumped here. Hey shit, look at that, there's a skull here. Uh, is that a prehistoric man? What is it? What animal do you reckon that is? I reckon by the snout in it is a kangaroo. Kangaroo? Yeah, by the teeth. Is a uh, actually, no, it looks like a sheep. Sheep skull. I see another one through here. Got a few bottles here, Paul. That's right. Looks like someone's someone was going to collect them because they filled a bucket up with them. That's right. They just filled them up. Really, really old bottles here. They're the old Coca-Cola bottles from the 70s and 80s. In here, this yeah. is where they all are. Toyota Corolla. Gee, that's fucking interesting. What's that? Oh, it's like a beer coaster you put on your bar. Grand it's got Mike. Who's Mike Sheenan? He's actually signed it. Collingwood versus Essendon, 1990. Hmm. Like a grand final souvenir. What's it made of? Paper. Yeah, it's like material. But it's got someone's signature on it. Hey, mate, I'd take that home. Clean and that it is up. Mike Sheehan. That might uh, might be worth something. That one. Good, that's a good little find, that. Okay, oh, there's one, one more car over there. What's that blue thing over there? Uh, good old HQ before it gets you, mate. HQ one tonner. Can't go wrong with those little babies. 1971 to 1974. Fuck, you know your cars. Hey, I'm intrigued by this machine here. What the fuck's that? A well, Hobart something or other. Hobart meat slicer. So what they did in the old days, they put the meat on here and slice it and adjust it and go and take the slices off. 
And they still have them though in butcher shops these days, don't they? They certainly do, but not this brand and not this make. And not this model. This is 1960s, mate. Before we even had decimal and currency. Alright, so we're going now. So this yeah. is what Paul's taken home. Yeah, I've got the old Enyo moth. So you've decided to keep that. Oh yeah, yeah. let's get yeah. the head for that. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, you're going to keep the rope. Uh, definitely keep the rope. This is a very handy rope, clay boat rope. Yeah. And I've got uh, the bucket and my little uh, beer coaster thing in there. Which yeah. I think, uh, we'll check that out to yeah. find out what it's worth. But yeah, that's just for today. Yeah. I'll definitely be back next time. <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little adventure with me and Paul in this farmer's rubbish dump. As you can see, these farmers are not really environmentally conscious, are they, Paul? They fucking just shove their plastic here, their fucking ba there's batteries here, there's fucking tyres. The only time you're going to see this is from Google Earth or you're flying over. Yeah. It's a long way from civilization. Oh, yeah, it is too. See you later, bro. See you, guys.